Well, second day of the Illinois Top Times meet in Bloomington, and during the event, teams took time to honor some of their competitors. Athletes holding a small memorial for Drew Fair and Dylan Bazell, who passed away on Sunday. More on that here soon, but in 3A normal communities, Chris Taylor finishing runner-up in the high jump, clearing six feet six inches. Over in shot put, Alex Sohn, third place finish in shot put, solid 61 feet, 11 and three quarters inches on the throw from the big fella. In 2A, Metamora's Drew Tucker winning the boys high jump, clearing six feet, five inches. Gets a nice fist bump there. Dunlap's Chelsea Wetzel winning in 2A girls pole vault at 12 feet, nine and a half inches. And then the Morton girls, they needed a comeback in the four by 800 meter relay, but Emma, Emma Belsley at anchor gets it done. Then a 1-2 finish in the 60-meter dash. Richwood's Lena Jackson comes in first. Limestone's Renesha Howard Dunningan finishing in second. Nice sportsmanship hug there. To the girls' 3200, Natalie Beerbaum and Zoe Carter from Uhi finishing second and third. And then Dunlap's Tegan Sullivan runner-up in long jump at 17 feet, 8 and 3 quarters inches. Girls' 60 hurdles, Uhi's Anna Barr finishing second. But look at her reaction for Emmy Scales, who broke the all-time 2A state record. Great hug there. And then in girls' high jump, Canton's Carly Zumstein finishing third, clearing five feet, three and a quarter inches. And then over in the girls' 4 by 200 meter relay, Richwoods finishing runner-up. Well, the meet also commemorated the memory of Prairie Central's Drew Fair and Dylan Bazell, who passed away from Prairie Central on Sunday. Their uniforms and special t-shirts were laid out for athletes to come sign. Special ri blue wristbands were also worn by various teams. The support from schools around the state has meant the world to Prairie Central. We loved every second of it. All the other coaches coming up to us, letting us know that they have our backs and if we need anything, we can get a hold of them. Had athletes all over the place just saying, you know, what great kids we had. And with Dylan and Drew, they were, they, they touched everybody that they, ever come in contact with. Memorial services for Drew and Dylan will begin tomorrow afternoon. Dunlap track athletes also remembering Tessa Sutton, who passed away from cancer on Friday. Girls athletes had white and pink uniforms along with purple ribbons to commemorate her. They want Tessa to be remembered for the movement she inspired and how she cared for others. I mean, the community is great. She was loved by everyone. It's good to see how everybody was helping her through her tough journey. She was the brightest soul in the room, you know. She always had the brightest smile. She always thought about everybody there. You know, if you were down, she was the one to put a smile on your face. Now, Sun Dumb Lab students met today at the high school to remember Tessa. Well, it was induction.